welcome back to my channel. I don't have my polishes ready. Hold up. Today we're going to do a top, well it's not a top 10, my top blah 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 video. I haven't done one of these in a very long time, I think. Um, like to the point that I should probably start it over. <laughs> we're starting with yellow because it's May and it's sunny and I need sun and I love yellow nail polish. So I'm going to talk about my favorite yellow nail polishes. I have done a favorites, a favorite yellow nail polishes video in the past. Those are all still favorites. I'll have the video linked up in the cards and in the description box. These are different yellows. I don't think there's any overlap. I don't think. But let's talk about them, okay? I'm going to talk about these in the... Let me get all my notes ready here. Amanda, get your life together, okay? We're going to talk about these in... Um, just the order that I grabbed them. I don't know what order it is, okay? Orly Golden Afternoon. This is from their Spring Impressions Collection. I don't really know how to describe this because it looks a little more mustardy in person, but it's it's like a muted mustard yellow, golden ochre color or something. It's a really beautiful yellow polish. The formula is nice. It does need three coats. You know, a yellow needing three coats is not surprising but the formula is still nice. Um, I think this is a beautiful spring yellow. I like brighter colors all of the time. <laughs> so when I wear colors like this, it is typically more in the spring or fall. I think this would pair really well with a lot of other seasonal colors, but I do really like this one and I know it is available. So that is Orly Golden Afternoon. Let's go with the classic, okay? Because I somehow didn't mention this in my last video, I don't think. And let's go with uh, Zoya's Pippa. This is a brighter yellow. It's more of a true like, primary yellow cream polish. I think this is still available on the Zoya website. I'm actually not sure now that I, now that I mention it. This is beautiful. I do have a Z-Wide brush in almost all of my Zoya's. I love the Z-Wide brush. It does make a big difference as far as application and especially with a, a yellow, a shade that typically needs more work <laughs> to to get it to the opacity level that you desire. That being said, this is still a three coat yellow, but it's also older. You know, like Zoya has improved their formula. That's also something to take into consideration for a lot of these old polishes that we have. The formula is just not that they were bad, but they're just so much better. They've been improved upon so much that that's just where we are. So this is three coats of Zoya Pippa. Next we have Zoya's B, and I can't think of what collection this is from. I know it's fairly recent, um, but this is a lighter yellow. It's closer to Golden Afternoon without being the same color. It's a little... It's a little more white yellow than golden yellow. This one though does cover in two coats, which is a perfect example of this is a newer polish and it's a lighter color and it needs two coats, whereas Pippa is brighter but it's older so it needs three coats. There's just a there's something with the formula or opacity or maybe it's the amount of pigment that's used. I don't know how to make nail polish. I'm just guessing, but this one covers in two coats. I have one from Nailtopia. If you have watched any of my nail polish videos, you probably know that I am fully on the Nailtopia train. I love their polishes. This one is called Glow Up in like a two-point font. That is my one critique of the brand. Please make the font a little bigger on the bottom because I have good eyesight and uh, it's tiny. But this is Glow Up. This is a egg yolk yellow cream. I love that so much. I love an egg yolk yellow. Oh man, you know what sounds like? Deviled eggs sound really good. I'm gonna get eggs when the store. Formula on this is lovely. This one covers in two coats. I love the brush on the Nailtopia brushes. I love the paddle brush on the Nailtopia polishes. Um, I just, I'm a big fan of the Nailtopia polishes, okay? okay? If you don't know that, now you do. And that's glow up. Look how happy it is. So cute, I love it. We have one from ILNP. This is in their old bottle, like even before their most recent new brand. This is in their round bottle. <laughs> so this is a round, but it is still on their website. I did look. And this is called Funshine Smoothie. 
This is a yellow holographic polish. You take a yellow and then you add holographic. And you just make me happy. I can't talk about how much I love yellow so enough. Like it's just it it's just the most cheerful color. And uh, this is a beautiful yellow holographic nail polish from ILNP. ILNP has some amazing nail polishes. I I kind of feel like they're they're not an underrated brand, but I don't think they're a brand that everyone talks about all of the time. Maybe they do. I there's a ton of nail polish people. It's impossible to watch all of them, but. I think I love every single nail polish that I have from ILNP. So if you have never tried them, I would suggest you do. They do have an Amazon store, but if you are going to be purchasing, you know, enough polish from the their own website, I would suggest going through the website because you can uh, sign up for their rewards program and earn points, which you can then cash in for money off of your future orders. So I really lo I love a reward system. Okay. All right, we have three more indie polishes. The first two are both from Moonshine Mani. So this is Lee Hing Pineapple. This is from their Ono Hawaii collection. Oh, it says on the label. <laughs> ono Hawaii collection. This is a yellow with a red shimmer and then red to like green shifty flakies. It's so beautiful. This is a three coat polish. Totally worth it. And then we have another from Moonshine Mania. This is Belle. This is a smoky golden yellow base with a orange to green shifty shimmer. This is from her Hero Princess collection. This came out, did this come out in April? Possibly. I'm not sure. This is beautiful. This is another three coat polish. It's kind of a, like a grungy yellow, I guess you could say. And lastly, we have one from Night Owl Lacquer. This is called Squeeze the Day. This is from her April 2019 color of the month. So I'm not sure if those colors go away after a certain time, but this is just a bright lemon yellow cream. It's, it's almost a neon, but it's not, I think it's not quite. It's very, very, very bright yellow. And the formula is, uh, you know, really nice. It needs three coats because it's a yellow. So those are my favorite yellow nail polishes as of late. I would love to know what your favorite yellow nail polishes are. What color should I do next? I'm going to be honest. I've had olive green sitting here for a long time to do because I was going to do them in March because it's, it's green, it's March. I just didn't get around to it. So I'm, I might try to squeeze those in next. There are quite a few. Uh, but if you have any other color suggestions that you would like to see, please let me know. I, I definitely need to get back into this regularly. I'm terrible. I will talk to you guys in my next video.